In South Korea, a huge proportion of accidents that occur on expressways are caused by large freight vehicles, a phenomenon linked in large part to long-haul drivers getting drowsy. To make the roads safer, the South Korean government has come up with an automated truck technology called truck platooning, which links trucks electronically to manage their speed and position on the road. Kim Sung-min reports. Even for a veteran truck driver like Kang Min Jun, who has been taking the wheel for more than 10 years, long distance driving is tough. He says having to eat and take a shower at rest areas is hectic, but the most difficult thing is keeping himself awake while driving. It's not a small car. I've seen many huge vehicles have accidents because the driver fell asleep, so I know it's very scary. Me and my wife are both very worried. In fact, out of the 582 deaths caused by accidents on expressways during the past three years, more than half were related to freight vehicles. And among them, 79 percent were caused by falling asleep or being careless while driving. To prevent that from happening, the Ministry of Land, Infrastructure and Transport on Thursday gave an online presentation to introduce automated truck operation technology, also known as truck platooning. Using wireless communication, truck platooning couples several vehicles together and enables them to travel in a coordinated train formation as if they were one vehicle. They keep a short distance between each other, meaning that road capacity can be managed better while also creating safe and comfortable conditions for drivers. It will reduce the tiredness of drivers, so in turn reduce accidents caused by falling asleep while driving. Also, it strengthens competitiveness by increasing fuel efficiency by 6 percent while emitting less CO2. Part of the event on Thursday was a live demonstration by four trucks driving along an 80-kilometer route on expressways at 90 kilometers per hour from Tokpyeong to Wonju. During the route, trucks joined and also decoupled in perfect order to show how the technology could be used flexibly in real life. The process was streamed live on YouTube, where the ministry also gave a detailed presentation about the technology. Kim Sung-min, Arirang News.